Good afternoon and welcome to another episode of Mikey Makes. This afternoon, oh, before I go any further, this afternoon's episode was supposed to have been... Um, Why do they need to know what's supposed to have been? Get on with the recipe, because if you tell them that, when we do get it, it won't be a surprise. Okay, we'll cut that out. Should we cut that out? Right. Also, tell them that we're late because we had to wait for the washing to finish okay. and we broke the original tripod. Do you want to go again? All right. Okay. Three, two... One. We're going to cut that one out then. If you'd stop talking, I'm counting you in. Look then. All right. Three, two, one. Did I call it? Three, two, one. Good afternoon and welcome to another episode of Mikey Makes. <laughs> this afternoon I'm going to be making marzipan in preparation for next week when I'm going to be making a stolen from an old family recipe, something that we make most winters this time of year. <laughs> Maybe one last year. Yeah, I know, but that was one winter. Anyway, so in order to make the marzipan, we need 350 grams of ground almonds. We need 175 grams of caster sugar and 175 grams of icing sugar. The caster sugar has to be golden, and for once we have golden, so I've mixed those oh, in there. Shut up. We need three eggs, two that are going to be whole, and one that I just need the yellow bit from. And they're eggs for soldiers, Jonesy, because a certain um, amount of the money when you buy... Show them the packet. Eggs. They're empty Show teams. them the top of the packet. That's it. Because I've got a tripod that now does that. Because a certain yeah. amount of the money goes towards yeah, yeah, the soldiers. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like giving to soldiers. <laughs> <laughs> Go We're on. We're going to need some almond essence. <laughs> <laughs> um, some lemon juice yeah. and some rum. They do say don't cook with anything that you're not prepared to drink, so I'm putting in some really nice brandy. Did I say rum? I meant brandy. Um, so anyway, what we've got to do to start with is sift the sift sugar them, into a bowl. Oh my God, what have you done? Set it on fire. Jonesy. All right, I'm sifting. I'm doing it as quietly and gently as I can. That's just silly. That's not on fire, ladies and gentlemen. If you can That's still see me... My husband being a knob. If you can still see me... <laughs> <laughs> That's the sugar sifted. Go on, waft it away because it'll look... No, actually, it looks all right. You can't see it. Then I've got to break two... I, actually, I, <coughs> two whole eggs. Yeah, use another bowl. There's not nearly enough washing up. Oh, we cut that bit out. It's only a little bit of shell. Cut a minute. Alright. Go on then. Right, Go so on, my son. I've broken two eggs into a bowl and I've got one more additional um, egg yolk. This doesn't want to come out. Um, what I'm going to do is put the. Oh, yes, the eggs. spatula's out. I always like it when the spatula comes out. Put the eggs into the sugar and then behind me on the cooker. There is a bowl of barely simmering hot water over which I'm going to place this and then I'm going to whisk it for about 12 minutes until it's light and fluffy. When it's light and fluffy, we'll come back. You do light and fluffy very well, don't you? I'd put the whisk the other side of the socket, really. You want, what you want? Oh, it might reach. All right, we'll come back later. Oh, my. Jonesy! Try and keep the ice and sugar in there. I am trying. All right, we'll, we'll come, come back, back when it's light and fluffy. Ah. Right, so that's been whisking for about 12 minutes. Um, what we're going to do, I'll show you what it looks like first. I'll just turn the heat off. What we've got is a thick and sure. thick and creamy consistency. Can you see that without me pouring? Yeah, because I can. Hang on a minute. I can actually. Yes. Become much thicker or creamier than that. No, no. And I'm going to stand it in the cold, in two inches of cold water in the sink. Jonesy, I can zoom, I can scan with this one. Good girl. Okay. Right. Now what are you doing? I'm going to add. Um, Seamless. The oh, he's gone. Ground almonds. Can you move a bit slower so I can keep that? The, you're not adding ground almonds yet. No, are you? no. I'm adding the lemon juice and the brandy. How much rehearsal do you need? I don't. Lemon juice and the brandy. You just tip that down the sink. <laughs> and I'm going to add half there. a teaspoon of yeah, almond uh, extract. 
And it has to be extract. Essence is not the same. I repeat, essence is not the same. What have you done with the vanilla pods? It didn't say vanilla pods. Are you mixing up your recipes again? Yep. So I'm going to whisk, so. whisk all that in. I'll turn it on. Alright, we'll come back in a minute when you've whisked that in, yeah? Okay. Okay, so I've whisked it and the mixture's gone cold. So I'm going to take the whisk. Just dump it in the sink. Off. I'm going to take the bowl out. And I'm going to put the bowl over Seamless. here. Seamless. And then I've got the 350 grams of um, ground almonds. And I'm going to stir them in. And what I'm looking to do is get a Play-Doh like consistency. And actually, it's strange because I tasted it. I licked my finger just now, and it does taste a lot like liquid marzipan. Like play down. Um, so anyway, while I'm mixing this, you can go away, and we'll come back in a couple of minutes' time when we're nearly there. All right. See you later. See you later. Don't I'm just coming over so they can see what the mixture is because this is oops. This is not like the shop bought. Okay, so, so I've been mixing it for about seven or eight hours now. It's porridge. Isn't it? Um, you haven't, Jonesy, have you? No, about, about, a minute and, about a minute and a half. I'm going to put my hands in it sooner or later. It's getting quite stiff now, so we're not far off. I don't know anything about the science of this, but I'm assuming that the um, right, I'd get your ground milk almonds into it. are soaking up the brandy and the yeah, you don't know lemon about juice it, do you? and all that crap. Go on then, get your hands it's in it. It's getting quite stiff now. Yeah. By the way, this is a Delia recipe, and she does say at this stage... Get your hands in get it. Get your morks in there. And, um... That's it. Go on, squidge it. All right, I'm coming back now. We can come back to you later. Yeah. Uh. Sorry, Pete Jones. I know the lighting's pants and I'm wobbling. No doubt you'll comment. See you later. OK, so <laughs> Oops, I've been me. working this uh, marzipan for a few minutes now. And I have to say it was a bit, bit of a bitch to start with, but it actually now does resemble a sort of... Um, I'm zooming in. Plasticine dough. It was very, very wet, but it's um, with lots of this flour, it seems to be... Uh, it's not flour, darling, is it? No, no, don't use flour. Flour will make it taste. What, is, what should they use? Um, icing sugar. That's right. So, we're going to, all that remains now is to wrap it up with cling, in cling film and stick it in the fridge. Um, oh, enough, Jonesy. I think we've I think we've got enough icing sugar on it, really. And then next week we're going to make some a mess. Stone with it, but just to prove that it is edible, and it tastes just like plasticine. Say good night, Jonesy. Good night, Jonesy. Okay, so that's the marzipan finished in um, a perhaps. I'll just open the fridge. Stick, door, it, stick it in sorry. the fridge, and that's coming out next week when we do the stolen. But because it's got raw eggs in it, it'll only keep it for um, a Two week. Two days. Um, and it's going to be kept in the fridge. All right. Um, and that's that. So don't forget, come back next week for the stolen, which is out of this world. Bye bye. Bye bye. Right, very quickly, I've just got to show you how strong this marzipan is. I've made a man out of marzipan, and he's holding up a breadboard with bits and pieces on it, on his own. How clever is that? So, there's the marzipan completely set now. Absolutely wonderful. And, um, no, it's, uh, it's pretty cool. Can't wait till next week now for, the, um, for making the stolen. Ah. Oh dear, never mind.